What is going on, guys? Today, we have got the addition of MLS Team of the Season. Whoa, okay, graphics guy needs a bit of work. But today, we are looking at this beautiful card right here. The, I believe, Arminian, I want to say, for the link with Mkhitaryan. Let's have a little look at this gem, then. So, I'm pretty sure... I want to say he was he was a different nation before. I want to say he was Argentinian, but I could be absolutely wrong, so don't slate me if I am. I'm hoping that he's more than a freestyle freestyle. I'm hoping that is a visual glitch. We will get footbin up as we speak to try and rectify that because I am I'd be very shocked if they didn't at least give him a 4-4. But again, anything can absolutely happen. He was or is he's a 4-4. That's fantastic. And he was Argentinian. Prior to this version, he's had two informs. He started off as a 76 cam in the common variety, and he's at an 81 and 84. So he's a 4 4, medium low, right footed, 5 for 8. And we've got stats of good acceleration, can't argue with them. A little bit of shooting, nothing too crazy there. Good free kick accuracy as well. Uh, agility balance is okay. Composure on the lower side compared to normal cards we've been looking at. Um, stamina again, looking good. Jumping, solid. How tall was he? 5'8", so you're not going to expect him to do too much there. Flare and outside of the foot shot, which is absolutely perfect. Now let's have a look at these objectives then. So, as we can imagine, he is going to be very much like this guy right here. He will be any game mode. So, we've got a score 15 in any game mode. Score using MLS players in 12 separate matches. Win 10 matches in foot with 7 MLS players. Play 15 matches and assist 8 with through balls at any point. So, the first thing I'm going to be looking at is not that so basically if you haven't finished any icon swaps make sure that you are utilizing this um there isn't actually an mls one but there is a silver and first owner if you haven't completed it yet so obviously try and pair them up together so the realistic option i would be looking at is you want the mls pl players and you want the seven mls players so you do get an actual swap for this so you definitely want to be doing this before the 10th of june because that is when the next set of objective or um, sbc tokens are actually out so make sure that you are getting this done before the 10th of june to get yourself all of the tokens beforehand if you are looking at mls players then so again we will get an mls objective or mls team of the season very very soon but we haven't got one as of yet so let's just go ahead and just get rid of a team get rid of a couple of teams because i've got i need to get rid of all of these concepts because they're absolutely useless at the moment so if we're looking at the mls setup we need just seven so that means you can either go for a defense or attack that is more uh, based around a different nation we personally like to build the team we're going full mls if we can um well, let's have a look and see which players we've got to do this with so unfortunately we're going with the old i want to say villa keeper in guzan we've got a right back we have got the storyline still we've then got nathan and long left back we're going with gloucester it seems Right mid, I'm going to have a look and see if we've got Vela. We have got another centre mid. Left mid is going to be blank. Oh, in fact, no, I, I do like the silver stars, I must admit. The strikers is going to be Red Hernandez. And we're going to go for it with Higuain. The question is, we've got the two other positions. I just wanted to see, yeah, if we've got any special cards. So, obviously, Vela was a team of the season SBC. So, if you have finished that, then that's absolutely gravy. We're going to whack you in centre mid. And we're going to whack Vela up for, well, in, in the right wing position. If then we go and look and just get our, any players on the bench, really. We don't really need too much. We're just going to go for the high-rated ones just because it's easier not searching through absolutely everything. Um, obviously, a lot of loans. you got to love the loans. So, if we've got that, we've got Vlack who I actually can't wait to give a tryout. Big boy Maradona, and then we just need the MLS manager. Um, if we go for MLS, I'm pretty sure I've got one. But it is just as easy as that. We don't even have one. Okay, so we're going to go with big boy Dice. She's always the one to go for. But that is the team that we're going for. It is that easy to complete this one. I would, again, go on whatever difficulty you want. I normally stick with world class to try and get the points as well as then subbing on the players also. So if we're looking at him, realistically, the finesses you want to get as, as, as quick as possible. Just make sure every goal is a finesse because we've only got a score using MLS. There is no objective of how you need to score with that MLS player. So finesses are the best way to do it. Win the 10 matches, which is a standard. We've got a whole 11 team, so 7 is more than possible. 15 matches can come from obviously after this because we only technically need 12. You 
you get an extra three matches that you can just use in foot champs or something like that. And then obviously the assist eight through balls. You'll get that as you're doing one goal or you can do them all in one go if you really choose. Same with the finesse. You could do them in one game or every game just get one goal and hold the ball or something like that. Normally I try and get the five goals so that should be done within the three to four matches. Same with the through ball. But again, if you want to do this a little bit quicker and you don't necessarily want to go into squad battles for 15 matches or 12 matches, get yourself a friend. Go down in the comments below because I've seen many people do it with your PSNs, your gamer tags, or P uh, PC if they have a specific way of doing it. Get your names out there and see if anybody wants to hook up and do it as well. Make sure you are doing it fair. Go one each. Don't just go a whole one because more than likely they will leave at the end of it, which is what it is, but that will happen. So make sure you're doing one each game and then you're absolutely gravy with it. But the friends will be the quickest way to get this done. Like with absolutely every other one, you want to just go into a game, do what you need to do. For instance, score a goal, doing a through ball assist, back out or the other guy leaves and you get yourself a free win. Go back and forth and do that and it should take you Probably about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on what sort of console you're on. If you're on old gen, I know the menus are a little bit slower, but the new gen, you should be able to get it done in about half an hour, I'd say. Maybe even less, depending on, obviously, if you haven't done any of this already before doing it. So that is really it. Again, I do enjoy these objectives, even if it is just for the 90 card for a fodder purpose. I like having them in the club as well, making out the best MLS team I personally can. And the big thing for these is the fact that there is a token involved, and that is the win 10 matches. So you may as well get most of it done because you want to get that pick that pack of team of the season or for instance like me won that 84 times 25 so make sure you get this done like i say leave your names down below get into the comments ask if anybody's needing a boost needing a help do that for the community make sure you do like and subscribe on this video and i'll catch you all for the next one peace